Hey, what is up everybody? AJ here, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to check somebody's calendar in both Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook. This video is more for those that are new to the workforce or new to the Microsoft Office suite, because I'm sure we've all been in the situation where people have said, hey, just check my calendar, or hey, put in my diary, and you're sort of left there scratching your head thinking, how do I check your calendar or how do I see when you're free? So I'm going to teach you how to do that today both in Teams and in Outlook. Of course, if you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. And with that being said, let's get into it. Cool. So I'm going to show you first how to check somebody's calendar in Microsoft Outlook because this is the more traditional way of doing it. So first thing you want to do is open up Outlook and down the bottom you can see there's a little mail symbol, a calendar, people, a to-do list, and what you want to do is open on the calendar. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to see other team members and groups that you're in, and you can you can add a tick box to get a side-by-side -side comparison. Here, I've just opened up Miriam's calendar, and this is going to connect, and this will show me a side-by-side -side view of people within my team. But what if this person isn't in your team? So let's say we want to book a meeting with Alex, but you don't actually know when he's free. All we want to do is double-click anywhere on your calendar, and this is gonna open up a new appointment. At the top here, there's a, a little button that says invite attendees, and this will turn this appointment into a calendar invitation. We're gonna select this option here, and you see now both a required and an optional field has appeared. So let's put a title here. Let's call this a catch up with Alex. Under the required field, we're gonna start typing in Alex's name, and we can see Alex Wilbur at our company, and let's open that up. So what you want to do up the top now is where it says files, meetings, scheduling assistant, insert, a few different things in the ribbon. You want to select on the scheduling assistant. And this will show you both times where yourself and Alex are free. You can see here, 10 o'clock, it's grayed out because we have that weekly call, but Alex is free. But anytime after that, we can see that both ourselves and Alex is free. So let's say we're going to book this meeting at one o'clock. We simply select the time, and what you see here is the start time and the end time change to one o'clock, to 1.30. Of course, we can change that to two o'clock or three o'clock um, with the drop-down menu, or we can actually extend by grabbing and dragging on the calendar here. What you wanna do next, if you're happy with, let's say one to two o'clock, we're gonna go back to the meeting, and then we can either put a body into the text, so we can say, hi, Alex, looking to have, looking, to have a quick catch up with you. So right now we have no location and we have no virtual meeting set. So whether it's Teams, whether it's WebEx, whether it's Skype, we're actually, we haven't put any of those details into this calendar yet. So what you wanna do is scroll up and you, you have a button or a few different buttons here of Teams, WebEx, Calendar, whatever it may be. And I'm gonna select on the Teams meeting and watch what happens when I click on Teams meeting. What you see happen is the location changes to a Microsoft Teams meeting, and down the bottom is a few different ways of joining. So this means that Alex knows that the catch-up is from one to two o'clock on Tuesday, and the location, well, it's a Microsoft Teams meeting. All we have to do now is hit send, and wait for Alex to respond. Cool, now let's jump over to Microsoft Teams. Open up Teams, you wanna scroll over to the left-hand side and select on your calendar. Find a time that's free, so let's say Tuesday at 2.30 again. This is gonna open up a new meeting and we're gonna put in our title, catch up with Alex. We're gonna put in some attendees, so we're gonna find Alex's name here. Because we're creating this meeting in Microsoft Teams, it will automatically add in those Teams meeting details, so we're not gonna to have to press that button like we did in Outlook, it will automatically be there when Alex gets the invite. Of course, we can add in a description such as, hi Alex, putting in a, putting in a quick, quick catch up for later this week. We can change and extend the times and the days. We can add it to a channel if we wanted to drop it into a team site. And of course we can add a location because it may be a team's call with the option of meeting in person. And now let's check if Alex is free at this time. At the top we have the details and we have the scheduling assistant. So we're gonna open up our scheduling assistant and this is gonna show us both when Alex and ourselves are available. And we can see that Alex is free at two to 2.30. If you're happy with that time, simply hit send in the top right hand corner and then wait for Alex's reply. Whether you send someone an invite from Teams or Outlook, it's gonna reflect in both their calendars because both Teams and Outlook are connected to the same single point of truth. 
I personally schedule most of my meetings in Outlook just out of habit, but I'm seeing more and more features added to Teams every week, and I'm slowly transitioning to doing more things in Teams than I am in Outlook. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.